Okay. What we need to talk about, next of all, last of all, is the binomial series. So-called because <clears throat> what we're going to try to do is write um, 1 plus x to any power, and it, inside it could be just about anything too, but <clears throat> write that as a power series. So the, hence the name binomial series because what we're trying to write as a power series is a binomial. Uh, <clears throat> but first of all, before we get to that, I need to uh, tell you a little bit about notation here. You may not have dealt with uh, this notation, K stacked over N in parentheses before. Um, it is uh, permutation, but <clears throat> we're not going to call it that. We're just going to say uh, this is the definition-wise what this means. The definition of this notation is <clears throat> on. You're going to have a fraction, and you're going to start on the top. You're going to start at k, whatever k is. Then you're going to multiply k minus one, k minus two. So we're going to subtract one from the k until we get to k minus n plus 1. <laughs> then on the bottom, we're going to divide all that by n factorial. And n needs to be bigger than <clears throat> Okay? Would that be a percentage of the actual magnitude? It is, but we're not going to quite do it that way. So it's not... It is a permutation, but <clears throat> we're going to have some other issues come up. It's not going to be a calculator button that we push, okay? <laughs> I guess is what I'm saying. <clears throat> One special case, and that is when n equals 0, because that's for n bigger than 0, but the special case is uh, k with n equals 0 is going to be defined to be 1. All right, so let's start easy and work our way up. So 7, 5 in this notation would start out, we start with 7, then we do minus 1 to be 6, then we do 5, until we get to this. So let's calculate. K minus N plus 1 would be what? 7 minus 5 plus 1? which does work out to be 3, 3. So I need to do that all the way down to 3. With me? Then on the bottom would be 5 factorial. And then, yeah, you could evaluate that. We're not going to be able to. This would be a number, but ours are not going to be numbers. You'll see here in a second. But interestingly enough, <clears throat> notice on the top that I do have five numbers there. But <clears throat> that can kind of help you if you're doing them like I said, these num numerical ones where you have both of them numbers. So this would be 10, then minus 1, minus another 1, minus another. So just keep adding on to that, <clears throat> or yeah, multiplying on to that, until you get to 10 minus the 6 plus 1, k minus n plus 1, which in this case would be 5. So I need to go two more. And notice that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. That's just an interesting little point there. Okay. Well, <clears throat> here's another thing <laughs> with this. If I go with negative number on top, what if I have negative 3, 5? What happens there? I go minus 3, and then what's the next number? Minus 4, because I'm subtracting 1. Minus 5, guess where I go to? Six and seven, yeah. Because k minus n plus 1 would be negative 7, wouldn't it? Verify. 
verify that out over phi factorial. <clears throat> okay. And then here's another little twist. What if I have a negative one fourth, six? <laughs> well, same thing. Start off with negative one fourth, subtract one, negative five fourths, subtract another one, negative nine fourths, subtract another one, negative thirteen fourths, until I have six of them. So, <clears throat> can you use that trick one more time here anyway? I think to get to 21 fourths. Then divide all that by 6 factorial. Okay? All right. That's something different, isn't it? <clears throat> well, that's all fine and good, but here's, here's, how we'll, here's what we really have to deal with. What if I had, instead of knowing what the lower number is, what if it was just n? Because that is what we'll deal with mainly in our binomial series, power series. <clears throat> well, it works just about the same way. We start with the negative 5, then we go to subtract 1, be negative 6, subtract 1, be negative 7. The only thing is I don't have a uh, <coughs> exact number to put at the stopping place, but what is the stopping place here? Well, it's k minus n plus 1. I don't know the n, but I do know the k, so couldn't I say this is negative 5 minus n plus 1? That's going to be my stopping point. And then the bottom is going to be in factorial. Well, a couple of uh, things. What can I do with this? Can I simplify that? That's minus 5 plus 1 be minus 4 minus n. So I have negative 5 times negative 6 times negative 7 dot 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 until I get to negative 4 minus n. For n factorial. Well, <clears throat> one other thing I can do to help later uh, with what I want to do with this is, do you notice all these have a negative in them? So if I factor off a negative one off of this, and a negative one off of this, and then a negative one off of that, and then a negative one off of that, all the way until I get here, won't that be negative one? How many numbers here do I have on top? I have n numbers. Yeah, that's what I pointed out before. There's n of these along the way. So if I pull off negative 1 off of each of them, don't I have negative 1 to the nth power? Times, and that just be positive 5, positive 6, positive 7, all the way, and what would the last term be? Pull off a negative 1 off of that, it would be 4 plus n, or n plus 4, yeah. All over n factorial. Okay probably have not ever done such a thing as that before. <laughs> a little bit different. <clears throat> All right. Let's do one with a fraction. Because there is one other <coughs> fine detail about that. <clears throat> what if I had negative two-thirds in? Well, that's going to be negative two-thirds times what? What's the next one? Negative five-thirds, and then negative eight-thirds, and then negative eleven-thirds, just subtracting one each time, until I get to where? k minus n plus one, which would be negative two-thirds minus n plus one. And then that would be over n factorial. Okay, well, I can do the same thing here. Pull off a negative 1 off of each of those. So I have a negative 1 to the n. But, <clears throat> now let's do it in two steps. 2 thirds, 5 thirds, 
8 thirds, 11 thirds, dot, 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 until I have. Now, then over here I can, uh, hmm, what's that going to be? Positive 2 thirds plus n minus 1, which is n minus 1 third. Uh, I already switched it. I switched it. Okay. Here's the other thing, though, I want to show you. Oh, over in factorial. One other thing I could pull off of this is a one-third. Don't all these all have a factor of one-third? So let's pull off a one-third off of each one of those. So that'll be n of those. One-third to the n. So what does that leave me? Two, five, set this way. Two, five, eight, eleven, all the way until now. If I pull off a one-third off of that, which I'm calling n minus one-third, what does that leave me there? Well, <clears throat> when I'm pulling it off, basically what I'm doing is I'm dividing by it. So I need to take n minus a third and then divide that by one-third. Well, one-third divided by one-third is one. That part's easy. n divided by a third, what is it? 3n. Now it's 3n. Yeah, n divided by a third is the same as n times 3 over 1. <clears throat> a little tricky. And then all that's by n factorial divided by. With me? Okay, the only other thing is what they'll typically like. One third to the n, couldn't I write that in the bottom just as 3 to the n? It's basically 1 to the n over 3 to the n, so the 3 to the n would go in the bottom. There you go. Good stuff. Okay. Well, <clears throat> it uh, turns out the reason I mention this is because this K N business comes up when we do uh, the Maclaurin series for one plus x to the k power. Let me just show you. Well, 1 plus x to the kth power. <clears throat> if I wanted to write that as a Maclaurin series, which basically just means the center is a equals 0, that would mean I need to do my uh, little thing here. It's the nth derivative at a, or 0, <clears throat> over uh, n factorial, and then uh, x to the n. <clears throat> That's a Maclaurin series which all depends on the nth derivative. Well, <clears throat> this is f of x. Keep wanting to do that. What's the first derivative? What would be the derivative of that? Bring down the power, subtract 1 from the power, new power. What would be the second derivative? Second derivative, well, k, bring down the power, 1 plus x, k minus 2, what's the third derivative? Huh? 
Negative two. I think that's it. Chain rule. Uh, inside derivative is one, right? In the derivative of that's just one. Because I'm doing the derivative with respect to x. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then the next one would be k, k minus one. Bring down the power. Be k minus two. Then it'd be one plus x, k minus three. Hmm. Okay. Well, McLaurin series says do that at zero. A equals zero. So f of zero, well, that'd just be one. <clears throat> f prime is zero, I'm just plugging in uh, x to be one. So it'd be k times one plus zero, k minus one. Well, that's just one, that's just k. And then the second derivative would be k, k minus one. That's one to a power, that's still just one. So that's k, k minus one. Third derivative, it's k, k minus one, k minus two, because this is just one to a power, it's just one. What would be the nth derivative here? Guess what? The third derivative is k, does that remind you of anything? It's that countdown product. And notice how many terms I have there. I have three terms on the third derivative, on the second term. So the nth derivative, I would need n terms. So what do I need to go to? k minus n. Right here. Nth derivative is zero. I need k, k minus 1, <coughs> k minus 2, and to get n of those, I need to go to k minus n plus 1. Well, what is that? That's our k n that we were just talking about. Isn't that what we need? So isn't that that? So this is what goes there <coughs> for 1 plus x to the k. Well, so if I put that there for that, that's our McLaurin, uh, our binomial series. Okay, yeah. Oh no, this isn't. Okay, I see. I see what I got. That isn't. That isn't in k. That's just the top of the n k. If I put that over this, <clears throat> that is. This is in k, isn't it? All right, so all that to say this. <clears throat> to write 1 plus x to the k, the binomial, to the kth power, as a power series, we're just going to do k n times x to the n. n equals 0 to infinity. It's called the binomial series. 